go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that shoes Swipe straight down, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world of Marvel, I'm the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ, Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grime Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're doing Spring of Sorrow, week one, and this is the second objective. I already have the first objective done. I used Wong. Now we're gonna be using Human Torch. If you haven't seen my first video, it's up on my channel, go check it out. But in this particular video, uh, we once again are doing that get it done style, okay? However, with Human Torch, it's a little bit different. So <clears throat> with Human Torch, you want to have flame on so you can bypass, because um, he doesn't take damage from debuffs. However, he is still vulnerable to um, Human Torch's... Uh, man, that just drives me nuts right there. Um, I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. Um, <clears throat> but the uh, Nova Flames is what does the damage to him, right? So, once you die, you can no longer activate that Flame On. However, you can still get to your Nova Flames by getting to a special three. So what you want to do is work and get a good run in because like if I were to just try and do this, you know, leave it like that, revive, that's going to be very costly. So I want to get a good run. I'm not going for a um, solo. I just want to get a really good run, and then I'll start reviving, all right? But that's pretty much it. Now, I've already done this fight, so I know what needs to be done. But many times here, I just, I don't even know what to say, okay? Because knowing what to do and then trying to get it done is very annoying. At times, I'll swipe back and it won't swipe and then I'll get caught. Or, as sometimes happens to me, I will glance up at his buffs or whatever. You know, see, wait, is that protection up? And in that split second, you know, just a quick glance, I'll get attacked and get caught. That happens quite often. But as you can see here in this run, we're doing pretty decent. Okay, now that time right there, I dashed back too early. Okay, just dashed back too early. Um, ooh, for some reason, the um, my microphone was really high, so I'll probably have to deal with that in the edit. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I've reduced it a little bit, so hopefully um, it's, it's normal now. Anyway... So that is what I'm doing. I'm basically doing that. Now, sometimes I'll get caught because while Iron Fist, his specials are easy to evade. I evade them all day long, but Kabam added root. And evading it while rooted is another matter. And then you have that, um, what is that? Thermostat thing or whatever. Look at that, just sidestepping me. That's just, it did not make for a fun experience. I'll tell you that. It's just not fun. But we carry on. Now, about the root. Some of you already know how much I hate root. But you may not understand why I hate root. I have agoraphobia. If you guys don't know what agoraphobia is, look it up. You may have heard about it because of a movie that made it very popular. And 
in the movie, there was um, a woman who was not able to even leave her house. Okay. And so people associated that with a fear of going outside. Not quite. And if you look it up, and we did this on my stream, it has to do with control. When things seem to, you know how they spiral out of control? If it's something that's like out of your control, you can have a very serious panic attack. Give you an example, flying. I don't have a fear of flying. However, every time I've flown, I've had a horrible time. Why? I'm not the pilot. So I'm in a situation that is completely out of my control. Okay. So for example, if there was anything happening in the plane, I can't just walk off. Okay. I am in the hands of the pilot, the plane, all that good stuff. And I'm up so high and I can't fly. So that can cause a very, very serious panic. Okay. Um, I usually panic on the inside. People don't usually see it. Then there was a time when I was really young and I went to um, a summer camp. Now, my mom, who doesn't know how to swim, wanted to make sure I knew how to swim. So I went to the YMCA, learned how to swim, okay? So I can swim in pools, or lake, or whatever, right? This one time at the beach, I got, I went down and I was swimming underwater and I got caught by the undertow. When I popped up, I was by one of the buoys and I looked around and I could not see the shore. It didn't matter that I knew how to swim. I almost drowned. I had to be rescued, okay? I think I was like 11 or 12 at the time. And I had to be rescued by the, the lifeguard, all right? And all that time, I didn't understand why. I was like, why did that happen to me? I thought I was just, you know, I was like aquaphobic or something, right? And I thought I had a fear of flying until a friend of mine um, was like, no, that doesn't sound like, and he knew me, he's known me since college. He was like, that doesn't sound like those phobias. It sounds like agoraphobia. And I'm like, what, fear from going outside? He was like, that's not all it is. The reason that people have a fear of going outside is because that's the most extreme environment where you can't control anything. People are, are coming, going, they're doing whatever they wanna do and you have no control over anything. I don't have it that bad. It doesn't bother me that, you know, I can't control what other people are doing all that. It has to be a situation like I mentioned. Well, when you have root, that takes my control from me. I'm trying to do something and I'm not able to do it. And that freaks me out badly. And even if you guys can't see it, Internally, I am freaking out every time I get rooted. If I try to do something and I can't do it because I'm bound and I'm rooted, I'm freaking out, okay? So I do not like root. I do not like root. I don't like any of those types of things. And what'll happen many times is that that freak out internally will affect me. Like you'll see me like right now, I'm now um, into the reviving and all that, right? But I'm off kilter. Every time I'm rooted or, or anything like that is happening, I'm off kilter. So I'm not playing quite as well as I normally would, you know? So uh, sometimes I'll just, you know, focus. I'll try to focus in and I'll forget about the timer. And you see that happen a lot. Okay, see like right here, I'm like, Arr! you know, and it, it, it drives me nuts. Okay, so look at that. What did I tell you? That is what happens. So I'm sitting here, I got um, rooted and 
that was it. And I'm just like, okay, now um, what do I do? What do I do? Okay, I need to get down his uh, protection and completely forgot about counting that that other thing. So they they there's a lot of things you have to keep track of. Then I get rooted and I'm off kilter, okay? And so I don't have fun with anything that has root. And it seems like Kabam is really pushing that root mechanic. I find it everywhere, okay? And it, it's, it's not fun. And it's not something that I can get used to. You know, I can grip my teeth, I can get through it, but it'll never be fun, okay? <clears throat> but there are some changes that are happening at Kabam. And I don't know what the future will hold. However, they have said that they're going to be reducing the difficulty on variety of areas in the game. Now, there's two things that I really hope that they will start or continue or what have you working on, the inputs and the AI. Those two things are really annoying, okay? Anytime the AI is just on that next level parry game or evade game, that's not fun. They can do things that you know we can't do. You know, like evade and attack at the same time. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. It does not make for a fun time, all right? Now, <clears throat> right here, I'm just opening these up because I need uh, some more health potions. And yeah, I got some uh, revives as well. Um, look at that, just, just a bunch of revives. It's all good. I don't really care. Um, in fact, I have a bunch that's probably uh, gonna expire. So I need to do the next Spring of Sorrows before that happens. But as you can see, I got plenty, okay? Um, but in any case, we're just wearing him down. So at this point, Human Torch, as you can see, no Nova Flames, okay? So I've got to play well, get to that special three, which means I can't let him knock me down to um, uh, uh, no power. And then as you saw right there, why did I fire that special uh, two? when I know I gotta get to a special three. See what I'm saying? And it's 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 amazing. I, I watch the fight back and I'm just like, wow. This thing really, really tilts me. Now see right there, I should have done the heavy attack and then go into the uh, special. And see, once you've done this, you still now have to fight. <laughs> okay, see, now I got the Nova Flames back. So now I got to fight. Okay, so look at this. And we, we, we did, okay. Now see that one right there, I did that on purpose. I did a heavy attack and I was too far back and I fired my special in the middle. Now there, I just didn't have enough health. Okay, by the time I get, you know, to the special three and everything and I'm taking all these blocked hits and it's only a rank four um, human torch. So it, it, it hurts. That's why I needed to get these health potions, make sure that I'm, um, you know, full. Health potions, I don't really care. I got lots of them. Um, that's mostly what I do end up getting. But can you imagine if I did not get a good run in? It would be a lot worse because I'd have to be doing this a lot more. All right. So here we go. Just block, block. Just make sure I don't go all the way down. And I don't think his uh, protection was down there, but I just got so excited. All right, did a little bit of damage, 1%, okay? Come on, because I wanted to get that, that Nova Flame. All right, heavy, there we go. No protection, and there's my Nova Flames. Block, block, all right, boom, boom. And no, no uh, Nova Flames. So, that's what you gotta do. 
and it is a slog fest um, with a human torch. But you can see how I got back to a special three pretty easily. But look at my health. A lot of blocked hits and all that good stuff. But we're getting them. We're getting them. Okay. It's slow going, but we're getting them. Um, this, this makes me think I should really take him to a uh, rank five, but I'm probably not going to do that until, um, I have a rank up gem. That will be when I do that. If I do that, um, we've got some events going on right now. And uh, that will give us um, a rank five gem, but it's only for certain champions. And I don't remember. It's like clarity champ or something like that. I don't know if um, he has those tags, but whenever I get it, I'll use it on somebody, you know. Now, look at this. See, I don't know what that is. I keep doing an attack, a, a heavy attack. And I'm too far back. I don't know why I do that. Okay. Now, see, that is what I'm trying to do. You see how I evade, you know, take blocked hits and then evade out the last part? And see, I had to fire that because he dashed back when I did my heavy. That's really annoying when you're trying to get him down, right? So, bam. 6%. We're close. We're really close. We got him. Okay. See that. And then here I am trying to move again can't all right here we go bam got him done not fun but we got it done all right anyway that is going to do it guys thank you all for watching take care hit the like button if you enjoyed it leave a comment let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol In the fight he swift, his tactics be tight Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown